What's up, YouTube? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix a disabled iPad, iPhone, or what the hell you have. Just do it if your shit's disabled for hell long. If your shit's disabled for like five minutes or freaking, you know, some shit, just type in your passcode. But if you forgot your passcode and you gotta do it, you gotta do this shit. It's gonna erase everything. So this is what you do. You open up iTunes. I got it hooked up to my Sony Bravio because my fucking laptop screen broke. Yeah, it's PS4 over there. Uh, so let's do this shit. I already restored it, but I'm going to do it again. You know, I did a video where I show you guys how to restore it all the way, but uh, I'm going to show it to you guys. guys so, you know, so, okay, this is what you do. The first time I did it, it didn't work because, uh, I don't know why. Oh, because the first time I did it, I was holding this on for like five seconds while the phone is off and then plugging this in there. So basically I was, anyway. What? I'm busy. So basically it's my little niece wants to put on my little pony crap. Shut the hell up. I'm busy. Dude, can I make a fucking YouTube video out here on the fucking... Okay. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so let's do it. This fucking iPhone sucks on. So you hold this for 30 seconds while it's off. The first time I did it, I wasn't holding it for 30 seconds. I was just doing it for two seconds, and it wasn't working. Every time the, the restore process reaches where it, uh, it finished downloading the software, and the iPod for some reason turns on and it says to re type in the passcode again saying I cannot restore. So I updated my iPod, my iTunes, and then I they told me to hold this for 30 seconds and let go of it once you get into iTunes. So okay, I'll hold it, hold it for 30 seconds. So anyway. I'll be holding it for 30 seconds. You plug this in. You still holding it for okay, and then now you can let go of this shit. You can let go of it now. Sorry, I'm taking too long. Just drop my fucking juice. Fucking iPhone fucking fives got horrible cameras, man. You want to say it's a little bit dirty? That's why. <sighs> Okay, so you're gonna do this. You hold it for 30 seconds, that home button, while the phone is off, then you plug that shit, and you let go of that home button until this pops up. Then you press restore. Then you press restore and update. And boom, extracted software. So that's basically it. It's gonna do this shit. It's gonna fucking do it. Everything's gonna work. The first time I fucking uh I did it, I didn't hold it for 30 seconds. My iTunes wasn't updated either, but I don't think that mattered. I didn't hold it for 30 seconds. It was just saying downloading software. Yeah, I don't know why it was downloading. Another thing is, I hope you guys haven't did it yet, but another thing is uh you wanna go here, you go to preference, and then you go to devices. And you see where it's prevent iPod from iPads from signal automatically? Mine's just clicked on right now because I hate it when it does that, but turn that off. Check that off. Because you want it to sync automatically. I think that's probably the reason why it wasn't working the first five times I did it. Like I said, it'll, 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 it'll start in recovery mode. But as soon as it finished downloading the software, I don't know why it was downloading it. As soon as it finished downloading, the iTunes, the iPod will turn on, or iPhone, what the fuck you have. Will turn on and it'll say it can't do it no more. So just make sure you click that all, you press OK. Matter of fact, I gotta do that too. Cause I got it on. <laughs> okay, I pressed OK. You see, I don't think I don't think that probably uh was the problem either, because it's distracting it this time. The first five times it was downloading the fucking software. Or probably because it's already in the iTunes, so that's probably why it's doing it. And then uh 
Yeah, it should work now. Like, you just gotta wait for this shit to finish, and then it's gonna say after it finishes training the software, it's gonna say uh, when on the iPod or whatever iPhone is gonna have like a little line that's gonna load, and it should work. You know, I feel like keep on recording. But uh, that's it though. And then once it does that, it's gonna you're gonna type in your i uh, your Gmail account, me your uh, Apple ID account, and it should work. Like I said, hold it for thirty seconds. Cause that's what uh, Apple told me. Hold it for thirty seconds, and I wasn't doing that. That's probably what did it. Hold it for thirty seconds, and then let go into it pops up on here. And then uh, do that little syncing. I don't think that's the problem. A little automatically sync and taking it off. I think it's. And then make sure your iTunes is updated. That's how you're going to fix a stable iPhone, iPod, iPad, or you forgot your fucking password. All right. And then this is the only way. I tried it the fry times. They didn't work. Like I said, they told me to hold the button for 30 seconds. I was holding it for 30 seconds, and then I plugged it in, and then while the phone is off, and then let go of it until it popped up on iTunes. Make sure your iTunes is updated. Uh... It probably because that's probably was a problem, and I uh, remember the preference. You know, you can check that off too. You want so you can allow it to automatically sync. That probably was a problem. But I, I think it was probably not holding it for thirty seconds. I was just holding it for like five seconds and plugging it up. But yeah, this has to work, man. I like tried it five times. I was watching videos on YouTube, so that's why I came out and made my own. Cause nobody said to hold it for thirty seconds and all that crap. And that's the only way to do it. Apple said. Yeah, you guys might not call my fucking serial number and do some kind of shit with it. Alright, nerds.